Good morning class. How are you all? So students, today in our GK class, we are going to do animal kingdom. So let's start our today's topic. Our question is, how well do you know the animal world? To find out, choose the correct answer. Our first question is, which of these refers to a layer of fat that helps animals such as walruses, seals and penguins keep warm. The three options we are having are blighter, blabber, blubber. So students, our answer is blubber. Okay. Our second question is which of these is a cold-blooded animal? Our three options are frog, eagle, rat. So, students, the right answer is frog. Our third question is, which of these is not really a bear? We are having the options sun bear, grizzly bear, koala bear. So students, the right answer is koala bear. So let's go to the next question. A fourth question is, which member of the big cat family has species called the Indian and the Siberian? Yes students, the answer is tiger. Okay, now the question 5 is, which of these animals is an omnivore? So you must be knowing omnivore are the animals who eat both veg, veg, um, fruit, um, So students, our fifth question is, which of these animals is an omnivore? Options are bear, panther, deer. So, omnivore is an animal that eats both plants and animals. So, our answer is bear. Sixth question says, Many animals deal with the harshness of winter by becoming dormant or inactive. This long sleep is called. The three options are hibernation, Transpiration, Astivation. So students, the right answer is Hibernation. Now seventh question says, Which of the following type of mammals lay eggs instead of giving birth? So three options are Marsupials, Monotremes, Ungulates. The answer are Monotremes. These are the mammals that lay eggs and they don't give birth to babies. Our eighth option are what makes bees and mosquitoes create a loud buzzing noise? The three options we are having are rubbing of legs, beating of wings, C humming loudly. So the right answer is beating of wings. The beating of wings cause them make a loud buzzing noise. So students, our ninth question is, the substance found in rhinoceros' horns is also found in human. A. Hair. B. Bones. C. Skin. So the students, the right answer is hair. Tenth question says, how many compartments does the stomach of a cow have a two b four c one so students the there are four stomach in the cow eleven question is a hippopotamus can run faster than which of these creatures a cheetah b human being c antelope so the right answer is human being. 
So 12 question says which of these birds can rotate its neck to 70 degrees? A option is owl, B option is toucan, C option is kite. So the right answer is owl. So question in, uh, so the, there is a tit and bits. Uh, the arctic tern migrates from its summer ground in the arctic to its winter ground in the antarctic traveling more than 17,000 km each way every year this is the longest animal migration in the world so students uh, do you know did you know that before the, this is very interesting fact so Arctic Tern is a bird that covers about 17,000 km each way. But the side mein 17,000 meter jata hai and 17,000 meter vapis bhi aata hai from Arctic to its to Antarctic. Okay. So just imagine kitna long distance it covers every year. So the next question is students name these animals with the correct answer from the help box students now you have to answer these questions so students look at the picture carefully and find out the name of the animal first animal are you seeing it properly yes the options there uh, written the options uh, just uh, read the options Echidna, Orangutan, Emu, Lammer, Platypus, and Goose. So, students, the first picture is of Platypus. This is first. Now, look at the second picture. Students, the second picture is of the animal called Echidna. Okay, this is the second option. Echidna. Now, the third animal is an emu. Third. Okay. The fourth animal, just look at it carefully. It is called a mongoose. Four. Now, the fifth animal is, you all must be knowing, it is a orangutan. This is fifth orangutan. And sixth is a lemur okay this is sixth lemur where to write it this is sixth lemur okay so students just look at your books and write the names correctly okay so we have finished our page number nine in the next class we will be doing the next page okay bye bye take care